I know too many sad girls who grew up knowing so much of their anatomy and not knowing respect like they know themselves. Actually, you know, maybe that's the problem, that they know respect like they know themselves, that they can trace their blueprints like the unwanted fingerprints engraved on their thighs. But maybe this isn't my story to tell. And maybe there are too many people who think this isn't their story to tell, but it sure as hell isn't the girl who already screamed everything into the hand over her mouth or cried into her pillow before falling asleep with a bowling ball on her chest trying to ease what she still feels out through her corroded organ pipes for lungs that play only a sigh. I am one brother to two sisters whose legs could never run fast enough for my hope for them to fly. My younger sister is one I never get used to hearing talk about the creeper on his bike who crawled between the cracks in the pavement like an unwanted weed until she ran. Because she could run unlike my older sister, who bleeds into the sunset only so the night could pull her in. She is an optimist for everyone but herself because she thinks she deserves the bruises on her cortex. And I know this because when I see her, I don't see a wallflower blooming from between tight bricks anymore. I just see bricks and I wonder if she will ever come out from behind them. You see, she knows how to run. But she runs like an accident on rewind, thinking it will get better when you push play this time, she tells me, even though everyone watching has told her it won't. But how do you tell a volunteer of subservience that she is an angel? And how to use her wings when all she remembers are what her bruises have told her? I know too many sad girls that are disposable by sympathy. Like the advertisement I saw for anti-rape shorts, but nothing to keep my sisters from being taken away. I mean, at least they tried, right? My friend has tried to commit suicide for the second time because she has meant everything to everyone else and nothing to herself. She is a fire hydrant, demolishing that blazing sorrow by pouring out what she had left in the tank. And you can't just tell her with padded rooms that something is wrong. You cannot just let rapists with money out of jail when there are families like us who can afford justice like that. You would think that dollar bills would have my sister's pictures in them because of men like that who have filled their wallets with them. I think about my sister's worth in public a lot, and how fast my feet can move, and how deeply my arms can dig punches into a man's temple to tear up the illness that taught sad girls like my sister how to see themselves only in the way you have called their names. Why is it so easy to turn a mindset into a dark alley, and what are we doing to keep the shadows and a shaking hand holding a street fight gone wrong from passing through? I can't give them a reason other than themselves, so what do I do? What do I do when love is just a shot in the dark that echoes through her alleys? What do we do? What are we doing for them other than diagnosing them with everything they already think about themselves? Woo -hoo.